Well, I just pulled up the SOS Customs. We're gonna go ahead and run in and see how far along they are on the Subaru STI. Now, I know they haven't really gotten much of a chance to get started. We just dropped the car off a few days ago, but they do have some samples sprayed for me to take a look at and approve. And I also kind of want to see where they are with the body. Oscar did mention uh, that they did start on some of the body work. I'm going to run in now. I'll take you guys along so you can uh, see where we're at. Good morning, That's Sebring, though. Oh, you like that? Yeah. It's Brittany, bitch. Oh, man. Well, it looks like they sprayed at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 stack of samples for us to take a look at here. Um, we're gonna pop these out in the sunlight. Hey, Oscar, they look better in the sunlight, right? Yeah, let's go take it out. So we're gonna look at them in the sunlight, see where we're at. Man, that's a lot of samples, bro. That's a lot of them, so <laughs> these are just kind of different um, pearls that we've added to them to okay. kind of give it different looks and stuff like that. So this one has a light color shift over the rally blue right there. Color shift. So What's like, color shift? So that means pretty much like when uh, when you hit it from a side tone, yeah, you get like a different kind of color out of okay. it. So this one has like a. Like, this one has purple. I see. Yeah. See, see how that. Oh yeah, that one has like a more blue and purple. Yeah. So, but if you look at it just at, like at this angle, it looks just straight blue. Yeah. And then you get that side tone, you get a different color. It's gonna be really hard to catch some of these on camera. This looks more like a, like Honda Electron blue. Yeah, I don't know that we're able to actually. It's just basically lighter, 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 lighter. Or a different top coat. Yeah, so this it's is the green, green over green rally blue bottom. And then yellow, green, pearl over rally blue top. So, I mean, you still get, this is more pearl on it, but this is like that green almost that was in Rick's for. Yeah. Like over the rally blue. Okay. So, what is, he went with a, this is a blue aluminum? This is a purple candy over blue aluminum. So, so what is blue aluminum? Is that like so it's a, uh, another? It's like our finer um, metallic. Ooh, I can smell the E85. Yummy. Here's our baby. All wrapped up. Oh, what do we have here? Oh man, you guys have been getting busy. So pretty much how we started the project is, uh, you know, we got it here, got it all masked up, you know, so we don't damage any pins or anything, we put wheel covers on there. But I know you guys have some badass brand new wheels. <laughs> and then after that, we pretty much started blocking the, the side of the car. And what the blocking process is, is you're taking a flat block and you're going over all the surfaces and kind of pretty much contouring, you know, so you can kind of see you know if there's any dents because a lot of times a lot of people what they do is they'll go ahead and kind of if you see a dent they go ahead and fill it with bond or whatever like that, <laughs> and then you create like a high and low spot so what we do is we black we block the whole car to ensure that there's no deep dents or waves and when we do we go ahead and repair as needed so this side has already been blocked bodywork and primer now we're moving on to the next side the next time we've already started the blocking process can we so see that so that's our original finish there Oh yeah, so we had a little bit of a door ding down here. Yeah, I remember this one. Yeah. So now they'll go back and block all this down. Now that that's. Yeah, pretty much finished blocking it. We still have a couple ones in here that you're gonna start to see once you're blocking. You got a little one right yep, there. Yep. And those are like little miniature ones that you don't really notice right all the time. Yeah. But because we're gonna have fresh clay on the thing, fresh product. You're gonna notice everything. That all has to be squared everything away. Everything has to be done right first time. So cool. After we go ahead and take care of the body work on the body, we're gonna focus on the kit and ensuring that everything lines up, ensuring that all these gaps and everything is. You know, we might have to build a little bracket to kind of keep it there at bay so it doesn't move. Um, and just going over everything that we talked about, these gaps right here. Yep. Those gaps were really common. I was looking at a lot of pictures of this kit online and this gap really bothers me. Nobody, not many of the cars I saw actually address it. So this fitment right here, we gotta, you know, this has to sit like that. Plus, yep. And then we gotta take care of. So there's gonna be some cutting, and there's some gonna be some shoring up. And yeah. there's gonna be some bondo and stuff like that. All the love. But uh, I mean, that's what you, that's what it takes to get yeah. these kits to, to fit on the top property. Yep. I will report back with our paint colors. 
to the boys. <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> All right, now that you guys have seen the color, I'm super excited to announce the next Throttle merch drop for the STI project. So if you wanna secure your entries, grab some of this stuff this Saturday, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We have a whole bunch of stuff that is gonna be going live on the website. We have two new hoodies. We have a black one that has this logo on the back. Super, super thick quality as well. These are heavy duty hoodies. We also have the floral yellow hoodie with the embroidered logo and it has an embroidery on the sleeve as well. The old school throttle pedal, I love this. We have a brand new t-shirt. This is the back, this is the front. Super clean design on the front. I really like how this turned out. We also have a new snapback, a new floral yellow jet tag, and two new slap stickers. So, if you wanna get your entries to win the STI, now is the time this Saturday, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Some of the quantities in some of the sizes are extremely, extremely limited. So if you are interested in picking up any of the merch, please set a reminder or set an alarm for this Saturday because once they're gone, they're gone. And uh, I know you guys are gonna love this drop. It is my favorite drop so far. So thank you guys so much in advance. Enjoy the rest of the video. Several days later. I am at SOS Customs here with Mickey today, and we're getting a little progress update on the STI hatchback project. I've seen so many comments about what's going on with this car, and uh, today we're gonna be just getting a quick little update from Oscar. I, I can see the car right in front of me, and uh, they're making some pretty good progress, so we wanted to show you guys what they're up to. So he blended the yeah. side skirt in it. No, this is sick because we can put a nice hardware there and it's gonna lay over nice. Have you talked about this custom thing? Oscar, you wanna explain what you guys are doing here? This was an idea of you and Ricky, right? Yeah, I'll pretty much show the whole process in our video, but pretty much what we had to do is cut the old piece off and then use a, we use a plastic repair or semi-rigid repair or a panel bond to attach this to the fiberglass and then pretty much use it to reinforce it front and back and then you know mar glass and bondo to kind of smooth everything out and i mean i'm kind of glad that we did this because um i don't know if you remember the old piece was kind of bowing out yeah it had a gap really it was, bad gap. It was really bad and there was no real easy way to fix it so now i mean even without any doing any body work so you can see how much closer it is yep so it looks sick it's just body yeah. work you know yeah. So these panels, because we had to, they were a little warped when we got them, we had to heat them up and kind of move the material to get it to lay on the body line properly. It created a lot of low spots in between the hardware. And so Oscar and his guys have gone back in and actually created a nice flat surface for us. So we don't have that waving you see in a lot of the photos of these kits online. This process is probably taking a little longer because the, the weight of this car being presentable for the SEMA show in Vegas, we want to put our best foot forward and show that we're giving away cars that are show quality. For those of you guys who watched the last video, you heard Mickey say that the car was going to SEMA, but we really haven't announced it publicly. And yes, um, just like the 240 was at SEMA with Cosmos wheels, they have asked us to bring the STI and we are super stoked. So whoever wins this car, not only are you getting an awesome STI project that you can drive around and build and do whatever you want, but you are also getting a trip to SEMA and your car is going to be on display at the SEMA show in 2020. So how freaking awesome is that? Uh, to be able to give that away to someone is just an amazing experience. I remember the first time I went to SEMA and I was absolutely blown away. And now one of you guys is gonna get that same opportunity. So we are going the extra mile. Um, the guys over here at SOS Customs are going the extra mile to make sure this car is perfect, to make sure that it's SEMA quality. And that's why you can see, uh, we're just adding a couple little special details that no one else has uh, on their STI project. Just a good hoodie. Initially, we wanted uh, to use the World Rally Blue, just to keep with the Subaru heritage and theme. And it's such an iconic color for Subaru, but we couldn't just leave it alone. We had to put the old throttle SOS touch on it. We had Richard here, their painter, and uh, Oscar mix up some custom variations of the World Rally Blue. Now, this is World Rally Blue here, and what we've done is they've actually, um, I guess this is probably different thicknesses of uh, different, clear. Different layers of pearl. Everything kind of has like a tri-coat and it has different pearls in it. So this is some 
with a little bit more pearl, more and more and more, and then just the variations of the different pearls. So pretty it's much they kind of give you spray, some yeah. type of, because we're doing something custom, we want to kind of give you guys the, the you know, different looks and stuff like that, so you guys can actually have some choices to go off of, uh, but kind of stick true to the Subaru color. So the color we actually chose is right here. So it's this one. It's actually the deepest of the samples, the darkest blue. Uh, I think it has the most character and it definitely shows a lot of depth with the uh, the amount of metal flake that's in the World Rally Blue with the um, candy on top of it. So this is the uh, this is the one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hopefully the camera's picking up the flake. It looks so cool. So uh, you do have some more body work to do, right? But once that's done, the next step is to paint the jams, right? Exactly. So I mean, the body work on the car, on the body itself, is pretty much done. We just finished the other side. Uh, the rest of the body work is pretty much just all body kit. You know, all the fiberglass stuff. Obviously, you know, that custom touch set us back a little bit. And because it is custom, it's quite, there's no like, hey, you know, I'm gonna take two hours to do it and that's what it is. It's, it's until it's done, until it's right, yeah. until it's perfect, then oh. we'll know it's like, but the trick is to get this thing as nice as possible in primer so that way when we're prepping, this thing just looks like it's part of the car. And that's, that's really what sets apart a body shop is the, the extent that they go to on these kids. Cause I mean, you, you've seen cars with body kits and you know, how come one guy could have the same body kit but it'll look so much better? It's, yeah. it's just the time and effort that the shop puts It's into. the details. It's the small details yeah, that exactly. they really set it apart from being a SEMA quality, a show quality car, and then something that you just slap together. Exactly. So, um, and you guys, are, you guys are the boys, man. So I gotta do you right and I gotta make sure this thing looks impeccable for you guys. Uh, here's just one time. Well, we gotta, we gotta figure out how to top the 240. No, That's know, what everyone man. keeps asking. I it think is. this this has this has the opportunity. This thing's gonna be pretty freaking badass once it's done. Look at how wide it is. Hey hey hey! I'm showing I'm showing that over there. Huh? All right, Oscar's gonna show us a couple cool projects. Hopefully we can show them. Let's see what they got here. Is this your Bronco? No, that's not mine. Oh, you have one, don't you? Yeah, you have like four of them. Yeah. Ooh. Got a lot of old here, man. So, oh, Jay's. Buddy, yeah. We got this right hand drive VW Bug. Hey. Right hand drive? Where's this from? I think it was converted. I think it was converted, but this one was in a pretty bad accident. Oh, no. Oh, do they sell this? Like a yeah, full. So really? That's the cool thing Kevin's about Bugs is everything. They have everything. So, a few years so ago. in Mexico, yeah, they, Mexico, they didn't stop producing the, the Beetle until like 2001. Yeah. And it looks pretty much like a Super Beetle. Yeah. You know, what does this look like? Very close to. Porsche. Rick's, Rick 68. Yeah. It's like the same they're, car. They're cousins, that's why. Yeah. Um, see some AccuAir on here. Yeah. They're right everything. Hey. Oh, E-Type? The 2J swap? All right, so we, we've had a little debate going on right now. You like the Evo 10 or the Evo 8.9? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Maybe we should build one of these at some point. It's kind of cool seeing them in very similar colors too. That, that plasti dip. Yep. I've seen this thing all over Instagram. Oh my, look at that camber on that. A little sneak peek of the old uh, Street Hunters Mickey Speck hood with venting. Ooh. Thoughts? Looks awesome. Badass. The hood is freaking Yeah, sick. this is what's awesome. Yeah. It's not bride. It's actually brid. And the story behind that, I actually, years and years ago, met the owner of brid from Japan at... Uh, you, a show in the US and he was having drinks with us and he had a few sakis and basically gave us the background story Barid is how he says it and the reason of that is because he was trying to name the company Bullet he oh. liked the name Bullet for the company name okay. but when he says Bullet in broken English it sounds like Barid Bullet yeah. and so he spelled he asked somebody how to spell Barid and they spelled B-R-I-D-E. Yeah. And so he named the company Brid. And it's, so it's, it's actually Brid. Oh my not Bride. It's not Bride, it's Brid. So now he has a lower level, oh, which God. is even funnier. He took Brid, 
flipped it backwards, it spells Ederb, and he has a line of seats called Ederb, that is the lower level bridge seat. I never knew that either. <laughs> yeah, Ederb. Like it came out at Auto Salon a couple years ago, and I was like, oh my god, somebody knocked off Brit, and it was so ballsy they actually spelled it backwards. <laughs> but it was actually him. He's a crazy dude. Crazy Japanese dude, as most are. But yeah, so that's the actual story behind the name. Um, All right, thank you, Oscar. We'll see you, you soon. Coming by, man. Later, dude. Right, thank you. Later, bro. So thank you guys so much for watching today's YouTube video. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to our channel. In the next video, you're going to see the STI being painted. And if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff, don't forget to subscribe to SOS Customs channel as well. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video.